Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of D Wingrove Outdoors. And on today's episode, we're gonna be building some wood duck boxes. I'm here with Eli. Hey, what's up, how's it going? And we got Dalton back here, working on some magic. That's one of our finished products. Been doing a little bit of uh, experimenting tonight. Oh, and the last couple days we got about six boxes built and goal was to have 25 by the time we need to have them out but it's getting to be that time so uh we're going to work on it and today we're going to show you how to make one and then tomorrow we're going to show you what you're going to want to look for when you're going to place them so uh we're going to get right to it guys all right guys so before we get started here i'm going to tell you what materials you need so what you're going to want to have, you're going to want to have a 1 by 10 by 12 piece of pine board and that's what you'll be making most of the box out of. Now you can also make the roof out of that, but we found it more helpful or more useful I should say to you make the wood and the flooring out of plywood because then you can get uh, three boxes out of two uh, 12 foot boards. So what we're doing right now is measuring everything out and getting everything situated. And I'll come over here. And um, it's also very useful to have hinges to open the little slot door up you're gonna use to get in the box clean out every year. And it is also helpful to have these right here so you can um, have something to latch the tie wire onto the hinge and it makes it easy to open and close the door smoothly. So we're gonna get started here, and uh, I'll show you the first step. All right guys, so we're over here at the saw. You can use really any kind of saw, but we're using a radial saw here to cut the pieces of board. And what you're gonna wanna do is measure it out uh, four 24 inch pieces of board, and that's per box. So as you see here, we got 24 inches measured out. Oh, hold that. And, and we're just getting it measured out to where we can work with it here, guys. So, after we get this stuff cut up, uh, we'll be with you with the next step. Good go. Alright guys, so we got our four pieces of board cut as you can see and uh, the next step you're going to want to do is uh, drill a 4x4 four four inch in diameter hole. I know a lot of uh, different wood duck box tutorials I should say tell you to drill a 4x3.5 four or something like that but if you have a 4 uh, inch uh, diameter uh, drill bit that works out a lot easier than having to draw an oval on a piece of board. So we're going to do that right now and I'll uh, get a video of that for you. Alright guys, so what Eli's doing now, he went, uh, what'd you go, four inches down and that's where the top of the hole will be. the top be. of the hole right here. The eight inches be the bottom, there's your middle, and this is halfway across right here. Yep. We'll do our pre-hole and we'll uh, cut our four inch circle up. There you go. Oh, about lost a little blooper rail <laughs> spun out on us, but we're gonna get this whole drill one way or another. And there you guys have it. There's the hole. I lost a finger, but yeah. <laughs> and the next step uh, you're gonna want to do is get some netting and line the front to the, get to the hole so the baby wood ducks can climb up there and have a safe pass through the hole. So here we have our wire mesh metal netting and uh, we're just gonna staple it to, to, so for the ducks to get up to the hole so they have a nice and easy climb they ain't gotta struggle to get up. I'm just gonna staple that down And you really don't need it the whole way across, you just need it in line with the hole so the ducks can climb up, save some netting. And if you have a junky stapler like us, you'll have to um, hammer the nails into the wood. 
All right, guys, so the next step you're gonna wanna do is take one of your side uh, pieces of wood and you're gonna wanna cut a little doorway. So to do that, we're gonna go over here. Flip this all around real quick. Just measure five inches straight up from the bottom. We'll go ahead and put a line across and then uh, we'll go ahead and just cut this completely off. And that'll be your doorway and... You wanna hear that? On to the next step, you're going to want to get your piece of wood with the hole in the netting on it, the piece you just cut for uh, the doorway, and then you're going to want to grab two other pieces of 24 inch long wood. So we're here right now, we're doing a little assembly on it, and you're going to want to drill this before you get the flooring and the roof on it. So right now we're just lining it up. Making sure everything's good. Something else, so you don't crack your, your uh, wood, pre-drill your holes. If not, it'll split because you're so close to the edge. And uh, I'm gonna show you guys that real quick. And I'll probably speed some of this up a little bit so you ain't gotta watch us do all the cut. All right guys, the first piece of wood you're gonna wanna screw in is the piece of the doorway and you're gonna wanna screw it in the piece of wood that has the hole. All right. <laughs> Save out for the next one. All right, guys. So pretty much all you want to do now is uh, finishing assembling the back and the other side of the box. So we're just gonna fast forward through that real quick. guys so once you got everything put together it's gonna look something like this all turn around and you're gonna have the little space in one of the sides it doesn't really matter but we chose that side and now we're just gonna latch the door to one of the sides with a uh, hinge and we got little um, uh, u-bolts or not u-bolts but uh what are the hinges and we're going to put that together for you all right guys so now what we're doing we're just attaching the hinge to one of the sides you want it to swing to so we're just going to use the screws that came with the hinge and we just want it to have a nice even swing guys so what you're going to want to do now is attach one of these little eye bolts here They're relatively cheap sorry about that the bird is just kicked on you're going to want to drill it in 
this side of the door right about there and then you're going to get some tie wire and a screw and attach it somewhere in line with the eye bolt. Alright guys, so once you get the tie wire wrapped around a nice fat screw, you're just going to want to drive it into the wood like so. Excuse me. Cut it about like that. Alright, guys, so you can just do something like that with the tie wire and the eye bolt, and it'll keep any uh, kind of critter from getting in the box and opening the door for you. As you can see, it's nice and solid there. Alright, guys, for so the next step, you're probably going to need some plywood, or you can use the um, the 10 by 1 and it'll probably work as the flooring and the roof so we're what we're gonna do is we got a spare piece of plywood and we're just gonna place the box on it and draw out a nice uh, area to cut and that'll be perfect for the floor and then we'll get to you later for the roof all right guys battery just died for the camera uh, what they did while I was gone is cut a nice piece of plywood out to match the uh, bottom shape of the box and we're just going to dr uh, drill that straight on there uh, for a nice flooring for the box. Screw it. Screw it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cut our top out because the hole is here. We're gonna go ahead and uh, put an overhang of about two inches. That way the water doesn't really go run straight down and go in the hole. We'll just go even with the sides, which is 11 inches on there, and then we'll just go by 12, 11 by 12, and then you'll have a two inch overhang. And there you have it. There's how we're gonna make the roof. And there you guys have it. There's our 11 by 10 inch board, or 11 by 12. 11 by 12, that is. And we're just gonna go ahead and attach that to the roof real quick. All right. All right what we're doing now is we're just attaching the uh, piece of wood we cut out to the top of the box to act as the roof. Almost done guys, we got one more step and that is to drill, um, we'll do like a uh, five on a dice and we'll just drill that in the bottom so water can uh, drain out and the ducks don't get too soaked. So we're going to do that real quick. Alright guys, so we're just going to start right in there, like so, and then you're just going to want to drill a hole in every can. Alright guys, and there you have it. There's the finished product. It's a pretty nice wood duck box, if I do say so myself. And uh, you guys just gotta remember, when you're building these, they ain't gotta be perfect. They're just for a duck, they're used to living in a lot worse, but um, it definitely will increase the uh, productivity of your wood duck and uh, other uh, cavity nesting ducks in your area. So here we got the finished product. Uh, it's a pretty nice wood duck box. And uh, in the morning, we're going to go out to some of our duck uh, spots after we build a few more boxes. We got about six made right now. And uh, we're going to all different shapes and designs. Not all of them are perfect, but we learned a lot. And uh, we're going to go play some in the morning. So I'll see you guys in the a.m.
<laughs> All right, guys, so once you get in your desired location, you're gonna pound a pole in like we got right there. Um, we used a 10 foot pole and it ended up going like five feet in the ground. You can try to get it a little bit higher out the ground or you could run another extension, but I think three feet off the, from the water is plenty. And uh, it's like a small kind of pipe, so I don't think any raccoons or anything will be able to jump up in there. All right guys, so what we're doing now, we are attaching our box to this pole here with some, uh, what are these called, new bolts. And we're just gonna do it right around the pipe. All right, so oh, once you get the first U-bolt in, it should look something like that. We're just attaching it to the back of the box with a drill, pretty simple. Get your two Hammered screws in there. in there. And there you have it, guys. Just like that, your wood, wood duck box is finished. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is our wood duck box on the pole. It's about three feet off the water, maybe four. And uh, it's pretty solid with a little, you want to use some like metal conduit or you could use any kind of wood post as long as it's sturdy. And uh, these boxes are good because wood ducks use them, uh, golden eyes, boffle heads, and uh, mergansers. So if you put them up in your area, they should increase the duck population in your area, hopefully. In a couple years, it takes a while. We're, our goal is to put 25 out between my, the group of guys I hunt with this year. So we're going to try our best. We got eight more to set up today. And uh, that'll be all for today's video, guys. So until the next one, see you later.